On August 31st, the Indian Air Force signed a contract worth about 300 crore rupees to buy 24 second-hand Mirage 2000 aircraft from France. The French Air Force is replacing its entire Mirage fleet with the Rafale and have enough to spare. But why would India want to buy these phased-out jets? Do we want to induct them to beef up the falling numbers of fighters in the Indian Air Force? No. India is buying these Mirages not to fly them, but for their spares. The Mirage 2000 fleet that was India's frontline fighter before the Rafales arrived is 36 years old. That is pretty old. Half of the fleet of 50 has been upgraded to give it 10 more flying years. The rest will be upgraded as well now. Now, if a fleet flies for 10 more years, it will need to be maintained for 10 more years, which means you will need spares. Spares that are not easily available, especially for an aircraft that is being phased out all over the world. The no demand, no supply rule applies here. The Indian Air Force is preparing for that contingency, says the new chief of the Indian Air Force, VR Chaudhary. What we are purchasing are not aircraft, full aircraft. They are being sold by the French in form of semi-formed or fully formed or half-formed aircraft, which we shall use to harvest spares from, to keep our fleets going. We had benefited immensely from a similar program when we got uh, the Jaguars from Oman and the French Air Force, and we were able to get many, many spares from these aircraft, which have kept our fleets going now. Let me explain that in detail. Say if tomorrow the wings of an aircraft develops a problem, say a crack, then the wing from the second-hand aircraft can be used. Or say if the engine of an Indian Mirage dies, the plane can be revived with the engine of the second-hand buy. The process affectionately is called cannibalization and can harvest more than 300 critical spares. This, by the way, is the second time that India has bought phased-out Mirages. Last year also, it had bought some 16 from the French Air Force, which have already landed in India. As Mirages are phased out by countries, production of spares will decrease over a period of time. Eventually, there will come a time when spares will be produced, specially for us, that is, specially for India, which will then make it very costly. Enough spares in the arsenal will spare the Indian Air Force painful maintenance costs in the future, or at least that is the hope. Just how knocked out are the 24 Mirages that India is buying? Out of the 24 fighters, 8 are in perfect condition, which means they are in a ready-to-fly condition, though of course there are no plans to fly them. 5 are in pretty good shape with all parts intact, the rest are partially complete but have fuel tanks and ejection seats. All this headache over spares would not have existed had India not missed the two opportunities to make the Mirage in India. The first opportunity was in the 1980s when India bought its first set of 40 Mirage 2000s. This was right after the US had decided to sell its F-16s to Pakistan. The deal was that India would buy 150 Mirages, 100 of which would be produced by Hindustan Aeronautical Limited. But the Russians then flew in with their MiG-29 offer all of a sudden, and a made-in-India Mirage remained just that, a Mirage. Then came the Kargil War in 1999, where the Mirage 2000 played a stellar role. India wanted more of them. The French by then were shutting down their Mirage production line and offered to shift it to India. For India, that meant they would get the latest version of the Mirage. But then Prime Minister Vajpayee developed cold feet over corruption charges that often accompany big defence deals. By 2004, India decided to float a global tender for medium multi-role combat aircraft and out went plans to manufacture Mirages in India. The Indian Air Force's fighter squadron is made up of the Rafales and Mirage 2000s that are French, the Sukhois, MiG-21s and MiG-29s that are Russian, Jaguars that are British and Tejas that is made in India. The accident-prone MiG-21s will retire in the next three to four years. Subsequently, the plan is to discontinue the MiG-29 and the Jaguar squadrons as well. The sanctioned fighter squadron strength 
for the Indian Air Force is 42 in the face of twin threats that we face from China and Pakistan. Currently, right now, we are down to 32. By when will India have the required sanctioned number of fighter jets? The Air Chief says, not in the next 15 years at least.